All right, let's check out this guy here. Cool. I think you can probably right there that. See if you look at the spacing here, here, here. Boom, suddenly goes down. So at that point, you start to lose the weight. And watch out, it feels like you're going down and it's only to the left. If he goes up, it will be this. And right now, it feels like in midair, he starts to flatten out. Let's watch out for that. Other than that, I think it's definitely better. This arm, uh, this guy at this point is still popping. So watch out. Even here, pop. You can see here, pop, pop back. Stack that too. Like how quickly it gets into the bend. And here you have a little bit of an overextension pop. That's cool. I just love the hit. It's great. I think you can still. I think you can still do more in the root and chest up and down. The thing is, imagine like, that's the ground and that's the chest. It feels like the chest goes just like that while arms go up and down. And I don't feel like there's a bit of an up and down in the root and chest because of this, right? That's going to influence that. So it feels like the, the root, you know, if you look at the root, look at this crotch. It's just gliding up. There's really not much in up and down. It's going to help you add that to it. I'm not sure what the head is doing, though. Like, there's a weird... This almost feels like... Like, I don't know where the eyes are, right? So to me, this feels like the underside. So your nose is really high up, and then suddenly it pops and, like, dips really quickly. And then here, again, very, very quick up and down. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be. And then that's weird, quick left and right. It's like a little no. So I'm not quite sure what that means acting wise. That all works and that all works. Yeah, it's just that. This guy. What are you doing here, Reynolds? Your DVD player broken? Nice. Takes a couple of frames until we get to it, I think. Hold on, let me just cut the beginnings. It's a bit distracting to have. Pause there. Cut here. I think what's a bit... There's something about this arm. When it's done, like he hits, boom. It's weird, like he almost goes for another hit, but then, but then he doesn't, and then just kind of eases out, and then slowly goes down. It's just, it's a bit weird. I will probably have just offset the animation so that when this door opens, his hand is, you know, like here ish going back, and it's just about to hit. It's kind of a global offset, and then I know it's just a little rough, but as you continue on, like, don't forget like, all that movement. It's going to be a lot of movement here and here because of that arm shake. That is a bit weird, like how far, like this to me is interesting. It has a certain attitude and pose, like oh, tired or whatever it's going on. And then that hair rotation feels very, a from a mechanical point of view, very separate where it's just the head going up and it doesn't quite involve the chest. I would reduce the head because then here you have this weird, it's like the lower neck. Like it feels like that's the lower neck and that's your head, and now suddenly the lower neck rotates back into this. And it feels weird because like why would he go back like this? Like, is he surprised to see him? Like that's a weird to me a surprise move. And I would stay within like this attitude. That feels a bit weird and it goes back in one axis and it just kind of overshoots and comes back. It feels very animated. So I'm not quite sure about that guy. I think those eye darts are a bit fast and they go a lot of up and down, up and down, up and down. Like to me, it feels like stare. Like he turns around, stares, and then down, hold, up. That would be enough. Like 
what down up what the hell are you doing here versus this nervous up and down thing that it doesn't feel like your your, are, your eyes don't do that like if you, if i would dart up and down up and down like that it just feels weird like i'm not focusing on anything there's not enough time to register at any points if that makes sense what are you doing here reynolds um let's see what are you doing here reynolds your dvd player broken yeah rest is cool it's just you know it's just still rough in terms of when what moves how would i say this what are you doing here reynolds you know like it's just it just you just go down into this pose and then you have that shake what are you doing for instance like his like doing? that is not represented in there. It just doesn't feel just my picky thing about it doesn't feel like the body's connected to the audio at all. What are you doing here, Reynolds? Your DVD What are you doing here, Reynolds? He was what are you doing? Like, on, on what? I would feel like the head would just jolt up a bit. And then here's your what and the what just feels What are you doing here? It just feels like it's just the jaw. And then you're doing a move up. So it doesn't, I doesn't I don't quite feel like if he's disappointed he goes what are you doing? Like what would just have a little bit more impact on the head? Reynolds, the DVD. Even, even Reynolds would have something. What are you doing here, Reynolds? The so right now, I feel like that move is because of a post change in chest and head, but it the head doesn't look like it's saying Reynolds. What are you doing here, Reynolds? The DVD player broken. The rest is great. Like that works a lot better. The DVD player broken. Uh, what I would just do here, there's a lot of. It feels like the concentration is heavy uh, in the horizontal move. Uh, so you can have a bit of up and down, like a DVD broke, like DVD could be up. Sorry. The DVD player. Like a DVD player, like DVD, like DVD will go up and then player will go down. The player broken. And then you can probably continue the animation a bit more, like after this. Here, just kind of everything. The weird thing about this is that the body kind of stays put, but then just the facial features relax. And then nothing else is going, and then you have just a dart and nothing else in the body is moving. So... I'm just going to put that down to, you know, it's just rough. You're just still figuring things out. Um, because if I look at this one, it's so much more polished. So I know you can get there. So I'm just, I'm probably just pointing out all the obvious things that you know. Your internet activity over the last 10 years is being scrutinized and cataloged. Oh, this one's weird. I'm not a fan. And this is personal, but I'm not a fan of one eye rise up, one eye is down, and then change to the other side they're already turning into jim carrey not a fan in minute vivid detail and i think that last one is too fast i would give this like three more frames from here to here and then ease in like you can almost get to like this and then as the head goes up you can kind of finish that amount like even ease into that as it goes up so it's not so harsh the detail you're Careful, you got some uh, blur issues on your background. Your internet activity over the last 10 years. Your internet activity over the last 10 years. Rest is cool. I mean, the thing is, I'm just super picky on, on, on arms and hands, but I don't want to drive you crazy. But I remiss to not point out that like, your wrist, you know, this is up and this is, it feels like that's your orientation, right? Now look at the elbow. All right, so look at the elbow. Whoop. See how much the elbow dips, but the rotation stays the same in your wrist, as opposed to at this point. Like your wrist was like this, and your forearm was like that. Now your forearm is like this, but your wrist is still like this, as opposed to going up at least that way. You know, just a bit more, so it just doesn't feel so IK. Activity over the activity over the last ten years is being scrutinized and cataloged. There's some funky stuff on the fingers. See that going through and it feels it just feels a bit random. Is then cataloged in minute, vivid detail. And then at the end, your fingers feels like it's a stray key. See when you scrub through. Vivid detail. And same thing in your chair. It feels like your chair and your fingers suddenly just move up and you can see it in the intersection in that arm. So you're super close. It's just, you know, a little polish things on there and just be careful, be mindful of that part here on the arm 
But the biggest thing to me would be, I'm just not a fan. It makes me a bit too comical. The eyebrow change here, and then that just feels too snappy, given his detail. And he's more like, yeah, suave and arrogant, and like, yeah, I got you. And then suddenly, boom, eyebrows snap down. It's kind of a, a betrayal of emotion in a fancy way. Um, all right, that's it, though. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.